hello everyone welcome to another unity tutorial so here i'm going to work on how to create a four leg character like this so with uh, inputs we can control and work around with this character with animations and everything so this is the character and uh, this is what we are going to implement in this tutorial so yeah so initially i will be implementing the character and then the animations uh, and after that i want to work on the eye case for this character so that the foot will be adapted into the ground slope uh, so it would look more realistic the in terms of animation and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right now uh, we have this dear character which can move like this uh, so we need to work on the animations today okay so first uh, let's see the animations that we have yeah we have idle and run and walk so okay let's we need to create an animator create animator controller let's call it anim dear and use that here uh, let's open it so I'm not going to make this uh, more complex so let's just add the idle state here and then uh, no actually we can create a blend tree yeah let's call it moment let's call this speed your know, motion field as the first one I'll add the idle oh we can't rename it but we can do this we call duplicate with it with control D and name it idle let's call it dear idle and then we can drag and drop so it sh uh, shows it as T idle that's better and similarly control D so we can rename dear run let me add the walk as well dear walk Okay, now add two more motion fields walk and run right okay uh, now let's 
let me add another folder scripts and create a new C sharp script let's call it dear animation the animation script okay right now here I'll add a public uh, rigid body RGD so here I'm going to make a rigid body reference to the rigid body of the uh, of the of this character so actually can we do that with the third person is there a way to get the speed directly from here let's see no let's see see that way so we can keep this code intact Okay, now drag and drop the the animation script here. Did I save it? No. Right. Now we have the reference, so I'll drag and drop this. I'll rename this. The character. okay uh, now here if rgd is not null oh, actually we can do it like this if rgd equals null return that's easier else we do other things so also we need a reference to the animator so just like here I'll put this into the top of the class then I'll define here animator tanim and here any component animator okay now here uh, from this rigid body we can access the velocity magnitude so can we assign this to uh, Let's assign this to a float. Okay. And let's print this so that we can get an idea what kind of uh, speed we get here. What kind of a value we get here. So we can think how to define the speed variable in the animator okay it is between 0 
and 4.9 so let's say 0 and 5 okay then uh, we can since this is 0 and 5 we can set the name set float oh did we have a Oh, this shouldn't be blend. Parameters for speed. Um, ah, right. We can define a float here as speed and select a speed. Okay. Now the parameter name is speed set float speed and the value I'm going to divide speed by 5 right now let's see Oh, we have a rotation problem in the animation. Wait, uh, we need to loop all of these. Okay. All right. Uh, here, let's go to the little animation. And the rotation is 90. Let's set it to 0 and play. Ah, right, right. Here also it should be 0. Okay. Now it should be all right. Yeah, now we need to do the same thing for other animations. Run zero zero and walk zero. Right now, let's see. Okay. Now, why does it flicker? Uh, let's do something like this. Let's give point five. 
for now because I uh, only need it to work at first okay still it flickers we need to have something like a uh, smooth so let's define another one float and name speed zero oh, it will be zero by default anyway then name speed equals so math dot lab speed oh how does it work first one is a the second one is b so for the first one I'm gonna use uh, and in speed itself and the second one I'm gonna use speed divided by 5 and time dot delta time let's see if this is good enough maybe we will have to add a multiplier for the time dot delta time yeah otherwise it could be not fast enough for the lerp to work oh no ah oh, sorry i forgot to set this dear aim set float speed and speed right it should work now okay now i guess 100 is too much first let's try with one that means the same as delta time okay i guess that's let's try five yeah that's better okay we can control the dear character now mm, what else here in the dear character in third person character script we can add a move speed multiplier so i let 0.5 here so the character should be walking yeah exactly okay now our first part is done the next part is to implement i case to adapt the character's foot with the ground so i'll stop at this point for today and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the code like me unity patron club and the link would be in the description below there you will be able to download the project files as well